No Alex with you again today, Hamish. No, I know, and um, naturally I've bought a man. Yes. Uh, as you can see, I've bought my friend Benjamin. So Benjamin's my go-to guy for lighting um, when I'm working on jobs. And uh, the other day I happened to be in there. We're having a chat. I was thinking of some garden lighting. Benjamin said, very important to um, choose your fittings correctly. Right. Because uh, they're not all created equal. And um, certain ones are going to make the colour pop a lot more. So this is important if you've got a nice kitchen. Uh, you want to display properly or plants outside in the garden and Benjamin had his little array of lights So I thought let's bring Benjamin and his light. Yes, well, no, that's good. That's absolutely. good. We can learn a lot. Yeah, hey Benjamin, nice to have you in the studio. Oh, thanks. So tell me about the different lights that you've got here. This okay. is about the um, the quality, isn't it? Yeah, so we're talking quality of light. Um, so we've got here a pretty average quality light. Um, most people would have this sort of LED lights going into their homes these days um, because people haven't really been concentrating on the quality of their light. Um, this is what we call a colour rendering. It's, it's an Number 80 on the colour rendering scale. Okay. Um, and what does is, the quality of light do? Does it help bring out the colours? It helps bring out the colours. Okay. So you'll see in the pictures that, or in the, the skittles here, the colours are a little bit more vibrant with this one. This would be a medium grade. You can okay. pay a little bit extra and get a product like this, which is a colour rendering of 92. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but if you really want the colour rendering to get to the top, you'd use a product like this, which is a colour rendering of 97. And this you'd use either across the whole house if you're really concerned about it, or you'd use it for pictures, vanities, um, that sort of a thing, just to get the real good colours in those areas. Yeah, you yeah. can really see the col <coughs> colours starting to pop on that one. And you want that on a vanity too, so when you're putting your makeup on, you're getting all the beautiful colours and things. Nice Priorities, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to get the right temperature for the right sort of area for your house. Absolutely, isn't it? absolutely. Okay, so let's go through some of these temperatures that we've got. Okay, so the, the main two are 2700 Kelvin and 3,000 Kelvin. Mm -hmm. So 2,700 on the left there and the 4,000 Kelvin on the right, uh, that is a really cool white, so it's very white. And I personally, I don't recommend it in people's homes, but okay. uh, some people like to use it. Some people really like the real crisp white colours. And you might use it maybe in the kitchen or something. That right. white colour, though, would be not particularly flattering on skin tones, would it? Absolutely, yeah. No. I um, think that's what we've got in the makeup room up here. And it actually. changes paint yeah. colours on walls. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The so warm colours you would think of as better for warm coloured homes as well. And a lot of timber so you want to get to the 2700 Kelvin if you've got a lot of timber it brings that out quite nicely mm -hmm. um, and there is something else um, just uh, the you've got the melatonin levels in your brain it's a hormone that's produced that makes you more relaxed and sleepy right. the warmer colors are going to release more uh, melatonin and the cooler colors are going to inhibit it so they're going to make you more awake and more focused on work so where it's good to have white colors at work and uh, warmer colours when you're at home. Well, that's a great example on screen there. That looks beautiful, nice and warm and snuggly. So you get the right quality and you get the right temperature and all of a sudden the ambience can change? Absolutely, and it's going to make your home feel less flat. Right. Um, that's one of the things with the colour quality. And that's quite a cool look we've got on screen there now, isn't it? Yes, yeah. That's, so that's using your cool white um, and that's going to be a lot more focused on your working orientation. Um, maybe maybe it might be good for your kitchen and bathroom. Okay, I'm yeah. going to put you on the spot here, boys. Um, mm -hmm. Both of you can answer this. So <laughs> is there a general rule we can use when choosing the lighting that we're going to put in anywhere in our house? Is there some sort of equation? I, I prefer a warmer light Absolutely. in the house because warmer light's more like candlelight. You know, it's, nice. it's the kind of thing yeah. that we've always been used to, a snug sort of you know, warm, rich, inviting. I don't know room. about your age, but I'm certainly not used to the candles all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, you know, it's it's that kind of like the kind of light that a fire gives off mm. and things like that. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, warmer well, colours that you can dim down. That's nice. That's the most important. That's nice, nice. and ambience. It's uh, been a pleasure having you both in here, Hamish and Benjamin. Very enlightening. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Truly.